Hey everybody! Welcome back to my channel! Today's episode will be a special one because I'm gonna share the things that I used to buy before that I don't buy anymore to afford graduate school in the U.S. So, if you're curious and you want to know that and more, then stay tuned because I'm gonna share everything with you. Tuition fee in dollars is very expensive compared to tuition fee in pesos. Money doesn't grow on trees. But sometimes, it can. Well, I sacrificed a lot of things. There were a lot of things that I used to buy and I used to do before that I don't do anymore. Number one, anything that's high maintenance. Let's say, for example, eyelash extensions. Eyelash extensions in the Philippines are very expensive. Plus, you have to go to the salon every three weeks just to retouch the extension. So, you're gonna spend a lot if you're gonna maintain that. So, I'd rather not do that anymore. I'd rather just curl my lashes and put on some mascara and done. I also don't get my nails done anymore. I even bought a set of gel nail polish on Amazon just so I can do my nails by myself because going to the salon to go fix your nails is very expensive. So how much will you spend? Like 800 pesos? I never had my hair done anymore. So before, I used to have pretty hair like balayage. <laughs> Here's a picture of my balayage days when I can still afford it. Ever since COVID happened, I don't go to the salon anymore to even have a haircut. I do everything by myself. Actually, I don't know anything about highlights or coloring before because I just have straight and simple hair. But I have a friend who's very artistic when it comes to hair and she suggested that I should try balayage. So I went to my favorite salon and I asked the lady in charge to give me some highlights or whatever. I don't even know that it's balayage. And then she asked me, ma'am, are you gonna get married? I said, oh no, I'm not. I just want some really simple highlights. Okay, leave it to me, she said. And then after that, oh my gosh, I didn't have any idea that my hair is gonna be bleached or whatever. But I had a good time at the salon because the salon is really very nice. So I had a good time there. And then when it's all done, I saw that my hair was like so pretty. It's like I'm ready to go to a party or a wedding. After that, um, I suddenly felt nervous because oh my gosh, how much did this cost? Maybe 5,000 pesos. <laughs> And then I went to the counter and asked for my bill. When the lady handed me my bill, I was shocked because it was 10,400 pesos. And I was like, what? 10,400 pesos for this hair? I was shocked and of course I can't do anything. I just wipe my credit card. What can you do, right? <laughs> Plus you need to buy purple shampoo to keep the hair from getting grassy. Okay, so it's super high maintenance and then every month you have to go back to the salon to retouch the tips. How much would that be, right? So it's super expensive, so I can't keep that up anymore right now because I pay a lot of tuition. Okay, so I have to prioritize. You have to prioritize what is more important to you. So you can afford the things that will make you be a better person in the long run. We should always think about the long run, not the short run. But don't get me wrong, okay? I'm not blaming the lady. Actually, it's my fault because I didn't ask. I should have asked the price first. Plus, another factor is because I was wearing this belt when I walked in that salon. So maybe they think I have no problems affording it. Which brings me to my second point of the things that I used to buy before that I don't buy anymore. Brands. Like the luxury brand. So I stopped buying... No not for me anymore especially because of covid ever since covid this belt just sat on my cabinet for like one whole year without me being able to use it because i'm just at home working and studying okay so where's the value to that actually the only reason why i bought this belt you know why is because of my initials if you know me that well you know that my initials are double g well, I'm not saying that I'm not gonna buy any luxury brand anymore. For example, in the future, if I happen to have like a salary of 300,000 USD for a year, then maybe I would buy luxury brands again. But for now, I don't see the value anymore. Well, look at Mark Zuckerberg, right? He just wears a t-shirt, but he's super rich. So buying luxury brands for me is a lifestyle and I can't keep that up anymore so goodbye to that 
Next thing that I gave up is buying coffee at Starbucks. Instead of buying coffee from Starbucks, I just brew this every morning. So this is my favorite coffee right now. It tastes better than Starbucks. It's really good. I bought three cans of this coffee in the States and I brought them all to the Philippines because I got addicted to it. No Starbucks for this girl. Just this one. Number four, buying stuff that I don't need at the moment. Like, for example, cars, SUV, or a new motorbike. <laughs> I wanted to buy one that's like just 80cc. But I'm not buying it right now because, as I said, I have to prioritize. So I prioritize my studies over my hobbies. Before I decided to enter graduate school, I actually wanted to buy a brand new red SUV. But then I realized that instead of buying an SUV, I just rather put my money in here. I think that would be more sustainable. Plus, buying brand new cars for me is not really economical because brand new cars depreciate in value, right? I'd rather put my money to things or to assets that appreciate in value over time. Next is jewelry. So before I started graduate school, I'm fond of buying jewelries like diamond necklaces, diamond earrings. Now I stop buying jewelry altogether. Uh, maybe after I graduate, I can buy again. But for now, I totally stop buying cake okay? because where will I use jewelry? In Zoom meetings, right? It doesn't make sense right now. Number six, movies. I stopped going to the movies. Instead, I just have Netflix subscription, um, Crunchyroll for anime because I love anime, VU because I love K-drama, IQIY. <laughs> so anything that's K-drama and anime. And lastly, I stopped going to the gym. So I canceled my gym memberships. I used to go to Anytime Fitness, but no, it doesn't make sense to go to the gym anymore. It's just for me because that's my own personal preference. If you want to go to the gym, then by all means. But for me, I'd rather just work out at home and save that money for gym memberships to pay for my tuition. So, what will I do with my savings apart from paying tuition fee? Of course, I invest them to stocks, crypto, and other assets that appreciate in value. I also opened up a money market account that auto-deducts a certain amount from my salary every month. Then I opened an insurance account that I pay for every quarter. If you have a dream and you want it that bad, you have to sacrifice time, effort, and money to achieve it. Just remember to reap what you sow later, because that's what I'm going to do. Oh, before I end this video, I sincerely want to thank all my friends and family who subscribed to my channel. I also want to thank the people who saw me on YouTube or who don't even know me personally but subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for doing that.